Oh, but man, does it feel good to be back in here. So I've decided to come out of the studio because it's a really nice day. And I wanted to come in here and just check some stuff out and get myself set up. But I don't want to talk at you in the studio. I mean, I'm going to be talking at you in here, but already being back in here is inspiring me to get stuff going again. So the next few projects are going to be under the same umbrella. I'm going to be working on some bases. So I worked on my friend Adam's Westfield Foster and P base and I, ages ago I did his Harley Benton five string base where I switched his individual saddles for a solid uh, base bridge and I took those saddles and you know I'm going to use them for a project later on down the line. Well that is this project. So we're going to have a mod coming and then we're going to be doing a couple of builds. And this base came into my possession from a friend Tim. I do occasional work for him. He'll bring guitars to me, ask me what they need, say you need this, this, and this. I'll clean it up while he's getting the stuff delivered, and then I'll install it and goes on his merry way. And this particular base came to me just by saying, oh, it just needs a clean up. Now, I'm gonna put some photos up on the screen while I talk about this, but it definitely did not just need a clean up. So as you can see, this, I don't know what on earth happened to this base. It is just so covered in dust and crap. And it's just so sad to see a base in this kind of state. So the headstock was all kinds of messed up. The nut, I just straight up threw that in the bin. And uh, there was no salvage in that. I think it was just a plastic nut anyway. But look at how bad that maple board looked. It could look so beautiful. There's, I don't know what it is, I think it's because I don't own many maple boards. I've only got the one on the Zelda build, but it just looks so nice and it was such a shame to see it in this state. Then I got down to the body and my intention was just literally just to take the pit guard off and clean it. There is that little chunk that's missing, um, but that wasn't the end of the world. I thought ah, I can easily just replace and make him a new pit guard. And then I got to the wiring. Now, I'm not a wiring expert, okay? I use EMG system quite a lot, you know, I can I can just about solder a switch, but I would at least know and to use the same colour wire for your hot and your ground connection. I had no idea what was what. It was very obvious for the pickup, but then you look at the rest of it and it's it's just a jumbled mess. Like around the output jack, one of the wires was literally not even soldered, it was just wrapped around it. Then came to the grounding. So as you can see there. At some point, the ground wire has snapped and it was just not connected to the system at all. So I rung to him and I said, look, dude, this is going to cost you a lot of money to get sorted out. And I know that you sell them on. It's going to affect your profit margin. How much do you want for it? And he's like, told me how much. And I said, yeah, let's go for it. He went, you're going to use this project on a YouTube channel, Scott, aren't you? Went, of course I have. I've been looking for a project base for such a long time, but my biggest problem is even buying secondhand, they were quite expensive and I couldn't justify ripping it apart and starting fresh. That's what I want to do with my first project base. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, as it stands at the moment, the Encore is completely gutted and I love the way that this headstock is. You know, you always get the classic, you know, Fender style headstock. I like the this headstock a lot better. I'm not really a fan though of this red finish and I don't understand what the crack was with that. <laughs> so I'm going to strip this finish back and I want to see what the wood grain looks like because there are a couple of points that it looks like it's going to have some nice grain to it. If it's a good grain and it's not going to look a bit mismatched, I'm thinking of staining it. So if we stain this, rip the headstock, take all this off, stain that as well because I mean just from the finish on the back. Yeah, it's going to look nice. I am going to lose the Encore logo. I can easily probably stick that back on or do something with it. Create a uh, truss rod cover. But I don't just want to install a P pickup. I want to expand my horizons. And I'm thinking we're going to install a J pickup as well. Now, of course, me being me, I'm going with EMGs. <laughs> So this is the EMG PJ set, and so that's going to be nice and fun. Now with these, obviously they are black, so the most logical step for the hardware is going to be all black. So I'm going to start out, I've got black pig material, 
That's enough to do the new temp uh, the new pit guard and the truss rod cover. These are the individual saddles, so I've got five of these. And these are the saddles that came from Adam's West uh, Harley Benton. The beauty part about them is it's top loading as well as string through. Now the main reason I wanted them for this base, you may have just seen it then. The holes aren't perfectly straight. So any bridge that I found didn't have them like that. They were all like perfectly aligned. So it would mean that I, you know, the string through would be redundant. So that's what those saddles are gonna come in use for. We have a brand new nut, so it's just a plastic one. Now this is obviously my one where I'm gonna be figuring things out. To that end, they may not be the greatest tuners, but I got these from Musical.ly. They're just open gear tuners in black. Now, it wasn't until I got everything back together for this that I realised I'm a dumbass and I only currently have two control knobs, but in reality I'm going to need three, so luckily it's going to be a while until I get everything installed anyway. So yeah, I just need to order another one. And I did start this project off originally the same way that I did the P base and the Flying V. So I started on doing a template for it. Now this was done at the exact same time as all the other ones. I had to record them all in one go. You may have been able to figure out if you watch those videos. And I thought about it today and I'm like, can I just get away with you know using the original to just transfer it onto the temp uh, pick on material? I don't think I can. I'm gonna probably play around with it, but I want to do removing the finish first. So that is going to be the first stage of things. So we're going to remove the finish, see how everything looks. I've got an abundance of crimson stains, so I can sit and play around. I've got an idea as to which one I want to use, but I'm not sure how it's going to look. So yeah, that is going to be the plan moving forward. I want to thank you again, everyone, for your patience with me. I've been really struggling, but now that I'm back in here and I'm seeing everything and I'm getting stuff done, it feels amazing to be back at this. Click the link in my socials for all the details and everything else I'm going to post because I'm going to post more of the photos because I've got the before and after shots. And yeah, new videos should be coming soon. We're going to get that bad boy stripped down and we're going to get into some staining, I think.